How about indoor percussion? Yeah. Oh, but. Oh, 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 oh. The octaves, look at the octaves on the right hand side. Oh, whoever made that table should get a race. That's like serious dedicated. So, big props. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of This Studio. My name is Adam, and it's time for yet another Let's Watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlisle, Greg Harris, Arthur Lipner, Doms Dominic Chung, Dean P. Neuberger, and Scott Rader. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Marimbology. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash amtan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. I hope you've been well. And yes, it's time for yet another drum call related video. It's been a really fun time so far watching these videos with you guys and of course if you ever want to submit any videos to this segment you can go to adamtampercussion.com forward slash submit and put your video link in there to be featured on the next episode. So anyway in the last drum court related episode we watched a whole bunch of really famous groups including Santa Clara Vanguard and Blue Devils and you guys were all like okay that's great but how about indoor percussion. Sticking to our tradition of watching a marimba cam and watching the entire show, the first video we're going to watch is the center marimba cam for Sparkman indoor percussion. Every time I think about the word Sparkman, I think about, you know, that Yu-Gi-Oh card, Elemental Hero Sparkman. <laughs> Seriously, I'm really excited to watch this show. This was sent in by Xavier Sanders, who is, I believe, the person in the video. He says, this was a really fun and beautiful show to play. It took a lot of work to get consistent sound and technique, so I hope you enjoy it. Well, I'm sure I will enjoy the video, and as you can see, the video title is titled, For Now I Am Winter, I think that's the name of the show, Santa Marimba Cam gone wrong he's got pranked bro and i love that xavier put in the description by the way there isn't anything wrong i just needed clickbait nice but yes we're going to watch xavier's marimba cam this is a really nice shot of his uh shoes <laughs> and here's the center marimba so i assume that is like the principal position in the marimba section it's going to be really exciting let's watch Woo. all right well well having some trouble putting it on nope it's on all right let's go <clears throat> Oh yeah. You must be very cold. <laughs> I know that this is part of the show guys, don't worry. <laughs> oh that marimba looks very, very flat. It must be a synthetic. He's really getting into the cold thing. Wow, using the inside mallet for that interval. Very interesting. Yeah, get that mallet high. Oh yeah. Wow, they even got like freeze, like pop and lock freeze motions. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, soft cymbal rolls with brushes. Very different. Oh, look at that change. So fast. Okay, we've got some Marimba spiritual type bongo roll. Yeah. Nice changes. Oh, this head is moving so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that whoosh. He's very careful. Whoa! Look at those balls, man. So even though he's not really playing anything too note heavy yet, the movements are just very well choreographed, very well executed. And yeah, his head is moving like a robot. Like, oh, we're using harder mallets. Well, you can because it's a synthetic. <laughs> Definitely a synthetic. Oh man, that. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! That mallet changed though! Man, he's so quick with the changeovers. 
and his head is moving so fast. Maybe it's just the frame rate of the video, but wow. I love that his head moves with the malice. That's so interesting. Oh, yep, the octave's out. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, splitting the single stroke. Oh no, it's not a single stroke, it's, it's just double vertical. So don't be fooled guys that the motives aren't the hardest motives in the world, but look how, look how well he links it together. Up, oh, under, hiding underneath the marimba. Oh, stealthy, stealthy sheathing of the mallets. Wow, even when you're on the floor, you have to do the movements. Man, do they really pay attention this close that they can see what you're doing even underneath the marimba? I guess so. But they, they definitely do. If they're, if they're going to this extent, they must. Okay, so this is more of a slow bit. Man, I'm getting dizzy from all, <laughs> all the nodding. Maybe it's because... Oh, I know why. Because the, the camera is mounted on his head. And it's, it's like super, super sensitive. I'm getting a little motion sick from the nodding. <laughs> but the playing is very good. Very calmly puts the mouse back. They're really into it. Like they're really, you can even see they're making the faces and stuff. It's, it's quite interesting. It's, it's very different to what we saw in the, um, in the SCV video. Now the, I guess I guess indoor percussion must have like a different set of criteria. Like I guess they care more about even finer details given that it's indoor. Man, the sweeps, the sweeps though. His bar placement is just perfect, so perfect. Oh, 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 yeah. That's a difficult run to get perfect. Very difficult. Accuracy on point. Mallet changeovers quick as always. Come on Xavier, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Wow, playing bongos vertically. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, that's like the, the drum core twist, right? I've seen a few people doing that with sticks, but never with ballads. Well, oh, whoa, 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 wow. Okay, first of all, I do know that this is an open class ensemble and that the people in this ensemble are in grade nine to 12. Is that what you guys call it? Grade nine to 12? Sparkman's like a high school, right? And these guys are high school students. So it's absolutely immaculate movements, like the transitions and the mallet changes, just everything is so smooth and flawless. And the fact that they even care about what their fingers are doing while on the floor, obscured by the instruments, that's like serious dedication. So big props. It's interesting because even though their mallet parts aren't as difficult per se, like they don't have as many octaves or crazy runs or anything like that, it's still very interesting to watch. And I would definitely want to watch the whole show of that. I mean, these guys are the winners, so it would be amazing. But yeah, awesome job, Xavier. Thank you so much for submitting that video onto the segment. Man, the frame rate of that video and the nodding kind of made me feel a little bit nauseous. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so the next video we're going to watch is a world-class independent ensemble in WGI called Pulse Percussion. This submission was submitted by Sergio Bravo. I don't know if this person was in the ensemble or if they're just a fan. This is in response, your video of you watching Blue Devils. Pulse Percussion is also a marching arts group. Instead though, it is a WGI indoor percussion ensemble. A lot of performers in DCI perform in the winter seasons in WGI, World Guard International. Doesn't WGI stand for Winter Guard International? Just Google that real quick. WGI, 
Winter Guard International, yeah. So, I'm not completely crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that makes a lot of sense actually why Winter Guard International is called Winter Guard because it's indoors when it's too cold. Revelation! And it's called Divided We Fall. It's uploaded by Pulse Percussion. Please don't copyright strike me. This video, as we can see from this very blurry first frame, is probably of the entire performance. So, let's watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, a lot of camera shake. All right. Please stabilize. What is going on? What we have to do is awaken the power of the people. Whoa, look at the hands. Woo! Amazing. It's a bit of Thierry de May table music going on. <laughs> Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm, the mallet parts are definitely intense. Whoa, look at that symbol. Look at the, the choke. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, let's go. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so now the snares show off. And the bases. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Let's go. Man, those chairs are just obstacles. <laughs> oh, oh, base alert, base alert. Oh, very, very articulate. Base flexing. I love that the camera tracks the movements as well. <laughs> Probably the person on the camera knows what's going to happen. Whoa. All right, all right. You know what's a shame though? I can't really see the front ensemble in this video. It's so black. Oh, table's moving. Table's moving. Look at the octaves. Look at the octaves on the right hand side. Oh, man. Man. There's like so much happening, but in such a small space. It's crazy. The guys on the right are just going big with- Whoa! <laughs> hey! Sorry, I'm just watching the pit right now. Sorry. So Sorry, drumline, but I'm, I'm watching the pit still. Oh, 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 yeah, let's go. Man, all of them are so together. And the table's moving at the same time. Lots of flexing everywhere. Everyone's having a bit of a flex today. Ha, <laughs> the table's moving. This table is like the centerpiece. I guess the piece, the piece is called Divided We Fall, right? And they're divided by the table. Oh, wow. Mounting it on the table. That table, whoever made that table should get a raise. It can do so many things. Man, those two mallet runs though. Now it's the fashion catwalk! Victoria's Secret! <laughs> so is this guy like the center snare? Oh, the table breaks apart! Wow. Hey, let's go. There's a lot of electronics in this performance. Like pre-recorded singing. Oh, yeah, four mallets, let's go. I like that both the vibes and marimba have important noty parts. The vibes aren't just going like ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch the pit for a bit. Sorry, people on chairs. Wow, wow, arpeggio flex. Arpeggio flex. <laughs> the mallet parts are really nice. Yeah. Woo! Woo, the 
that was so tight. We must stay, we must really I love that everyone cares about their movements to the smallest degree. Okay, now we're fighting people with chairs and they're holding their drums like cannons. Oh, those rim shots though. All right, base flex, base flex. Wow, that, that turn was so smooth. Woo! And the guys with cymbals are so, so clean. Look, look, look at those flips, wow. Slow march, slow march. Turning around. All right, here we go. I'm watching the pit again. Sorry guys, I know you're having a bit of a Naruto moment in the middle, but. And octaves, octaves. Oh, those marimba parts are insane. Alright, so. Oh! Man, this guy towards in front of the drum kit is just going crazy. Look at him. Woo! All right, we got Victoria's Secret round two. All right, they're divided by the table again. Nice. Maybe it's because the scale is a bit smaller. There's no brass. There's no, is there color guard? I guess there is color guard, but there's much less and it's not on like a football stadium. So it just, I guess I just need to get used to the format. If I have to be honest, I definitely enjoyed the front ensemble parts very, very much. Uh, the runs were just super nice and I really like the way they've written it and how they also included the vibraphones. But this has been a really eye-opening introduction to WGI performances and I hope to see more of them in the future. So thank you so much to Xavier and Sergio for introducing these videos to me and I'm definitely going to try and watch some more indoor percussion on this segment. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments below. What are your favorite indoor performances of all time? Because I really want to watch like the best of the best. And I know that this was definitely one of the better performances, but I'd like to see even more. So let me know if you know any that I should watch in the comments below right now. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. I upload new content on this show every single week. It's not just me watching videos all the time. I also upload other things like mallet reviews and technique videos and pieces and all kinds of other stuff. It's really an exciting time to be on this platform. So if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. I finally stopped running now. With you I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. I'm in love with you in every way. That joy you give me every day